This is the place where sports opinions collide. Dennis Sports. I'm your host, Kenneth Fiennes. Joining me, we have Nick. What's up, bro? What's going on? Uh, hey, man, that was a hell of a game, man. Chiefs. That was a win. Uh, hmm? That was an interesting first game of the season. Yeah, so the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens faced off in the 2024 NFL kickoff. Uh, there was a 20-minute delay, which I don't know what that was about. I have to get uh, just a quick explanation from you on what happened if you were watching. But um, nevertheless, it came down to a toe. He got KD, Isaiah Likely, caught what appeared to be a game-winning touchdown, but he had a toe, like probably like a big toe on the line. And it did not count, and uh, which which was unfortunate because Harbaugh was going for two, which I thought was probably really a good move. But um, but overall, man, what, what are your? Oh, okay. So people saying it was lightning. Okay, cool. Um, overall, man, like you said, it was an interesting first game. Um, what are you, what are your thoughts on what you saw? Because at first, is it was just um. It was interesting because it seemed like they didn't. The Ravens didn't like learn their lesson from the championship game. It was like Lamar was really throwing the ball a lot that first half, um, and then they weren't really running the ball. Granted, the uh, Chiefs were really good at uh, getting to Derrick Henry. I don't think he was really that effective, unless it was like short yardage. But um, yeah, it just felt like I was I was just seeing Lamar throw the ball more, and it felt like it was just like okay. I mean, that first drive, they, they went down the field quickly on the Chiefs, and I thought that it was going to be like, okay, this is a little bit different. They're going to kind of try to be more, you know, a smash mouth with it, with, you know, run the ball, run with Lamar, kind of keep the defense guessing. Then he just kept on throwing. And it was just like, if you're doing this, then you're doing it against the wrong quarterback because Patty can throw with anybody, you know. Um, and then the Ravens' defense just – was letting uh, Rasheed Rice just do whatever. Like, it just it just seemed like they didn't know. It just seemed like, they, I don't know, it just felt like they didn't really learn anything from losing in a championship game. It was like they were just stuck on that, those plays that were happening months ago and not really reinventing themselves. Um, it it yeah. just, yeah, it just, it, just, it just felt weird. It just felt weird watching them for a little bit. Yeah, you know, they, they both, Teams marched down the field. Um, Lamar made some plays. Was made a play. We had a great screen call by Andy Reid for Worthy to get him a ball. So we kind of saw how he would be utilized. Um, I think for me, man, just looking at this, looking at the final box score, Lamar ended up throwing for he had forty one attempts in this game um, to Patrick Mahomes twenty eight. Um, in terms of running the ball, though, well, I mean, there are 32 carries, but 16 are, are Lamar. So how many of those actually came mm-hmm. off drop downs compared to 20 by the Chiefs? So I think when I look at it, um, and I, I know a lot of those passes uh, attempts will be inflated because of the two-minute warning, but Derrick Henry, bro, uh, I, I, it's a concern. I told you. I mean, well, I, I, I said it in our chat. Uh, he's running like Medea. Like he he ain't he, and it was it was interesting. I think I read something or I saw something that he, he Derrick Henry actually is really served best out of shotgun instead of uh, eye formation when it comes to his runs. But it just it I don't know. It's the first game of the season, so everybody's a little bit rusty. I think you know they always say like give it two three weeks, and then you'll see what the team is. But um, this was a huge game to start off the season because this is a this is basically like an AFC. Um, this this will play in a playoff seating basically down the line. Like we're gonna go all the way back to this game at the end of the season and say, like, damn, if the Ravens would have won this, they could have got the one seed or they could have got the two seed or something like that. Um, so I think it was it's a big game, even though it's a regular season game. I just expected Lamar and them to come out better. But uh yeah, Derrick Henry just didn't he didn't look explosive at all. He didn't even look like he was they kept on trying to hype up how much, you know, he's he's built like a linebacker. Against like going against the Chiefs linebackers, but it just it just wasn't effective because you see Lamar. Lamar had what like um, over hundred yards rushing, doing you know just doing Lamar stuff, and it just seemed like Derrick Henry was just kind of there. Yeah, and let me switch my microphone. I was using another one. Um, yeah, that 
I don't know. It, 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 yeah, that, that's concerning. I, I don't want to say he's washed, but I'm going to say I think he's washed. Um, you know, I ain't going but, that far yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till at least week six, and then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what he on. But yeah, he Henry. I don't know. FIFA was the only one that got Derrick Henry. Uh, faith left, or he got all the stock left in Derrick Henry because I think I'm about to sell my. I ain't gonna say he washed, but shit. He had the cleanest. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Um, he, he's not a third down back. He's not a receiving back. Like he never has been that. And this game got at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like Derrick Henry was a big factor. I think they showed the stat where he had more touches um in that first drive than than the AFC title game um that the Baltimore Ravens had as a team. So they started off ground and pound. Then it got a little ugly, and then you know you saw a little bit of the fatigue, a little bit of the sloppiness. Um, that 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 illegal formation, they were killing Baltimore early in the game with that. You know what I'm saying? Where the um Ronnie Staley wasn't necessarily lined up close enough to the line of scrimmage. I think that that held them back a little bit, and it just got to a point where you know I think what Lamar Jackson had like thirty some pass attempts. Forty one. You know what I'm saying? Forty one. Forty one. So I think that the way that you want to win and play games if you're the Ravens is keep Lamar no more than like 30, you know, 28 to 31 in terms of pass attempts. And that means that Derrick Henry is getting the ball a lot more and Justice Hill isn't going to see the field as much. But in this game, it just it turned out the way it did. Um, we, got, we got a great game. You know, uh, I, I think that – if this is going to set the tone for the NFL season, we're in for a dude. Derrick Henry had 13 oh. carries for 46 yards and a touchdown. He was, I felt like he was barely utilizing that in the second half. And it was a close game. I think it was close enough, except when the Chiefs ran it up to 10. But it was still close enough for them to utilize, use it more um, than they did. And I think the other thing that I would be concerned about would be the receivers, bro. Like, these guys were not getting open. Likely is their best weapon. Yeah. Him and Zay. But 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 like I said in the chat, it's like I don't feel that they are scheming them open enough. You know what I'm saying? Like it feels like it's up to the receivers to try to get open versus it being schemed up before. And we see the play design that Andy Reid had with the one to um the back of tight end gray. He hit like a little block. He just turned around. He was right there. So you see creatively how he gives Mahomes some gimmies. Now, Mahomes does what Mahomes does. <laughs> he makes some crazy throws. But at the end of the day, like, you got to give your, your your franchise QB a couple of gimmies, you know what I'm saying, just to get the offense jump started. And we see that with Todd, Todd Munkin. He's not giving Lamar any gimmies. They, they were forcing it to Zay Flowers. Like, if you were a Zay Flowers fantasy owner, you were loving the way this offense is going because they were just, what happened to Rashad Bateman? He messed up. I'm saying all this because he messed up a parlay of mine. I, I, need, I need Rashad Bateman <laughs> to get at least three receptions, and I, I, he only got one. Like, what, what's what's the point of having all these other receivers? Like, like if you're just going to use likely and just go to Zay. Like, and then, and like, like this, off- this offense looks like, if I'm gonna keep it a beat, I know I know it's early in the season, and I'm trying to be mild mannered Nick for the rest of the season, Ken. But this offense looks cheeks, if we're being honest, yeah, being yeah. frank. No, like it, if, it didn't look good. If, if if this is what it's going to be like, and and and, and it's interesting that we're saying this on week one because last year week one, I was early in saying like the Chiefs' offense wasn't nothing to be crazy about, and especially with all those drops. And then you look at this Ravens offense, and it's like Derrick Henry looked like he running in molasses. Zay Flowers is good, but he's more of a two than a one. Um, the rest of the receivers are irrelevant in Baltimore. There's no point even mentioning them. Isaiah likely may be a breakout star, but what happened to Mark Andrews? They use him as an offensive lineman more than a tight end. I don't know. It's just this this offense doesn't scare like if you really take Lamar Jackson out of this, which is what the Chiefs have been able to do, it seems so. Even if you look at his stats, they were taking Lamar Jackson out the game. Like the Ravens can't score more. Like they barely scored tw- uh, over twenty points. And yeah, then you got pretty, Justin, pretty. and then Justin Tucker looking like his leg is going out. And 
it's it's yeah. just not looking good. I, I definitely think Tucker might be washed. Um, but you know, it's first game of the season. You know, Kyle likes to remind us that we have to wait until week three or three or four. Um, the Chiefs defense, they lost some key pieces, but they looked up to par. But I want to see them against another type, a real aerial offense versus this offense because we had a bunch of Lamar scrambles because guys weren't getting open uh, when there were not any desired runs. I thought Chris Jones was a monster. But um, I think this really came down to playmakers. And I think um, the secondary got confused on the Xavier Worthy touchdown, the second one that he caught through the air. Mm. And um, But I got to give Lamar props, bro. Like, that game was right there. And he missed an easy touchdown to Zay Flowers. He missed likely, which he would have to throw on a dime. But he made the throw to likely for – what we thought was the game winning touch game tying to now it's just his foot was on the line. So then the one that he misses a flowers looms a little bit larger because that guy, I mean, he was wild. There was nobody around him, but he drove them down the field and um and he showed he, he nah, was in the game. Yeah, I think it was a hell of a play. That kid, bro. It's, he, it's too, he showed that he showed that he was the early, MVP. It's it's, no, you see this. Not MVP that? of this season. Like, I'm talking about like context. from last I'm just year. Saying, bro. We, we, it's too early to give our participation trophies, Ken. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It's not participation trophy. Nick, Nick, Nick. At the end of the day, that is what Lamar Jackson displayed is exactly what you want your franchise quarterback to be able to do. Less than two minutes left in the game, one timeout, and you drive 90 plus 80 yards. Like, that is what you pay the top guys in the league to do and give yourself an opportunity to win. Now, look, they didn't win the game, Nick. And for you, it's win or loss. But in that, you lose context. Lamar did an excellent job driving them down the field with one timeout left, and he made the play. It was literally a toe that was out of the end zone that he can't control that aspect of it. He made the throw. Isaiah likely made the catch. His toe was out of bounds. So don't lose the context of the greatness within that last drive, bro. Ken, what do you always say? Or I don't know if you heard this saying. I feel like you said it before. It's like um, there's always one touchdown in every drive. You may not get it or not. You heard it. We're judging. This is a two-time MVP, right? He's he's won seventy plus percent of his regular season games. He's only at the time he was only behind Tom Brady. Um, they were the number one seed last year. My thing is, L- Lamar got paid last time I checked, right? So so I can say all this stuff now because last year was the year that they were supposed to win. This year it's like, bro, FIFA. How many times did they beat the Chiefs? Only once. So, and who's the only real competition would you say the Ravens have in the AFC? Two teams. I said Bengals. real like the yeah, Bengals, Bengals Chiefs. Bengals Chiefs, right? Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, but they but they, they have a good record against the Bengals. So you would say the only one they got a really game plan for is Chiefs. They it just seemed like they can beat them. And remember, I told you that I said this on Tuesday. I was like, <laughs> Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson seems like he's the top, the uh the Peyton Manny of this era. And obviously, Patty is like the Tom Brady when it comes to winning because it's just like, bro, like how many times do we got to see the same kind of thing where we're saying like, oh, if Lamar just did this or if if they just did, it's just like, all right, bro, if he can't no, beat him, he can't beat him, bro. I'm and, just, and, and, I'm the, and I'm the and one who that, picked him. And that's them. what it is. And that, I that's them. what it is, though, Nick. Like we're living in a quarterback era of Michael Jordan, a.k.a. Patrick Mahomes. And that's what happens. That's This is just what happens. But at the end of the day, don't discredit Lamar's greatness for Patrick Mahomes' greatness. If, if they I'm both, not... wait, wait, hold on now. They both displayed greatness in this game. They both displayed high levels of IQ. The um the tap, the 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 tip pass that Mahomes went in and, and, and got between two defensive, between a linebacker and a defensive end, or a linebacker as well. Adafi always a linebacker. But Making that heads up play, um, the, the the plays that Lamar made with his feet also down in that last drive, getting the ball to Isaiah Likely, getting the ball out of bounds. Obviously, they only had one timeout. Doing those things, Nick, I feel when you, if I was to extrapolate just your take and put it out there in the world, 
people would think that Lamar Jackson is the bootiest no, quarterback I, I, in the league. Saying, right I'm not that, saying. I'm not saying. That's. I'm just letting. What you I'm know saying. How, what you say? How is received? No, I'm saying. What I'm saying is the last two games that the that Lamar Jackson has played against. The last two games he's played in the NFL is this one in the AFC Championship game last mm-hmm. last season. This the were those two of two of Lamar Jackson's best performances you've seen. This not in general, not in his career. I'm just, I'm just talking about like it, it. this one was a damn good performance. The AFC Championship game, you had questions. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, questions. I'm sorry. I'm I, I don't have questions as far as him as a, a franchise quarterback. That's why I'm not trying to say he's trash. I'm just saying when it comes to down to like being the guy to win the big game. When has Lamar won the big game? To me, to me, this wasn't this wasn't on Lamar. And I think that that's what when you miss it, when you miss when you missing a touchdown like that to Zay, it's hard every, for me to everybody say. Everybody miss, everybody miss. No, yeah, I, I, I too. Yeah, he did, but I think there in and yeah, it probably was like um because he was open, and so it, it seemed like something was off on that play on how he missed him. You know um, that he was wide open like that because um, because uh, he was there. So I don't know if they just didn't they had the right communication going or whatnot. Um, but nevertheless, it didn't happen. But uh, I think that he came back and he made the right play or he made a play and likely just had a foot with two big, bro. It is what it is. So we, so, so we blame it likely? Nah, no, 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 no. I think it's Let's just, say, it's just, so it's just a, what happened a, in the game. So, so, so who's, part, the, who's part, the loss? Who's the loss on FIFA then? Part, part, mo, to me, it's primarily on Todd Munkin, um, because because the offensive play calling wasn't geared toward the the strength of the offense. Right, you bring in Derrick Henry, you shouldn't have to throw forty plus times with Lamar, and also Lamar had what, uh, about fifteen to eighteen rushes. I don't remember the exact number, but I, I know he was close to one hundred and twenty yards rushing, like. That is too much on Lamar's plate. And also, like I talked about earlier, you have to be able to give your quarterback some gimmies. How how, how many times did they run a screen? A lot. They, were, gimme they did a lot. They did a lot. The yeah. Ravens? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, they ran a lot of screens to say flowers. They, they had like five touches I'm, out of the screens. I'm I'm to, I'm talking to the running back. I, I, okay. It, you ain't throwing it to Derrick Henry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't necessarily say Derrick Henry, but Justice Hill played a lot of that game. And also, what I'm talking about is the creative ones that get you the easy yards. They didn't get no easy yards. No, everything. You 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 know what it felt like? It felt like a great offensive player just having to do their own thing. And it still feels like Lamar has to put on a cape and go out there and be Superman. It felt very Lamar centric. And when you add a Derrick Henry and you are an offensive coordinator for this style of team that they've constructed, you got to give Lamar some gimmies. And he didn't have no gimmies. Everything that Lamar got in that game, he earned it or created it. And that's too, you're not going to win a championship like that. It's like he looks like James Harden out there. And, and Derrick Henry was Chris Paul. Mm. Well, it was an exciting game, uh, way more exciting than I thought it was going to be because that first half was a little, a little ugly. Um, and I, I See, commend the Ravens' defense too because they they held the Chiefs to two field goals mm-hmm. in the red zone. Well, I don't know. The Ravens' defense is is was looking a little first Swiss game. cheese. They was looking a little first, Swiss first cheese the here. First game of the season. I get, and, I get and, that. I and get also, that. schematically. You know, um, they thought Rokar could, could, could be in space with some of these wide receivers. <laughs> you know, that, that 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 cover three, cover four that they was playing. Nah, no Rasheed, Rasheed Rice saying, uh, what's his name? Who we talk, who we always make fun of? What's the nigga name? Who just resigned with them? Darius Tony. No, 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 no. He, uh, no, 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 no. The other guy. Ooh. What's his name? Juju. Juju. Juju yeah, Rasheed yeah. Rice saying Juju. Nah, but Juju. Roquan, he had Roquan on skates. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it was like, like Rasheed Rice got a little route running in him, so he 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 he's not gonna be the fastest, but he he's quick. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was just like I mean, again, it's, it's Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid, so they found the holes in the defense. It's just that I'm just shocked that Baltimore once again, like you said, Ken, there's no way in hell Lamar should throw on the thirty over thirty eight times a game. There's no way in hell he should yeah. be doing that. 
That's how you know you're going to lose. Anytime I see Lamar move, throw more than 30 times a game, I'm like, oh, they probably lost that game. Because that means that they ran it, they, they got out of their offense. But then when you watch the game, it's like they were throwing early. Again, I'm, I, and I got to give some credit to the, the Chiefs defense. Like they, they put them in third and long situations. But still, like to people's point, like they didn't really have any short yardage gimme plays. It was like it's all bombs down the field. And, but then when you look on the other side of the ball, you see Patty and them, like I said, with Rasheed Rice cutting up the middle. Then you you still got the uh, the Noah Grays getting the little touches here and there. And then you go for the bomb with uh, Worthy or you'll go for a trick play. It was just like they kind of – they didn't make it hard for Patty to, to ball out. It was like they let the game kind of come to him. With Lamar, it was just – I don't know. It's just this – and I just want to see what they play. When they when they go to Cincinnati, when they play Cincinnati, I just want to see what that game looked like. Because yeah. it, 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 it's like when, he, when I'm talking about a, a team that can put up points like – Chiefs almost the Chiefs could have really put up more than twenty seven points. Like it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like they were. It wasn't like they were capped. It was just more of like they just did what they wanted to do, and they just kind of kept the lead and enough for uh kept enough of the lead for the Ravens having to throw, having to be aggressive and move ball down the field, try to move quickly. Like I never thought the Chiefs were like, oh, they're really locked up and they don't really have a chance to kind of, or like they're just um, waiting for an opportunity to score. It was like they just scored when they needed to. And you can say the same about Baltimore. Do you feel like Lamar looked more comfortable than he has? I mean, he had a he had a, a good play to like before there for the touchdown to get him back within three. And then that throw to Bateman was was, was pretty huge too. So so Ken, y- y- yes and no. Yes, he Lamar looks like he is in total control and he has mastered everything on the field. No, because that old line, especially early in the game, it, it showed that it was a work in progress. You know, they have a rookie left tackle. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. That that's 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 the Chiefs. That's Kansas. Yeah, that's the Chiefs. Yeah, but the, um, but yeah, the Ravens do have like that, that rookie tackle in on the Ravens, and he got ate up and and, and caused the fumble. Yep, yep. But um, that that Ravens old line is not the greatest right now. You know what I'm saying? They uh, Chris. Can you mention Chris Chris Jones was basically having his way? And then what's interesting was Spagnolo in that second half, he started putting Chris Jones on the outside. So so yeah, like, we're we gonna force this, we gonna force this one on one, bro. We 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 gonna get our best guy a one on one. So I thought that was very interesting. But I, I think I think the Ravens, they showed enough, or at least Lamar, in my opinion, showed enough that they should be fine. But they're going to struggle against the well-coached tactician-led teams like Kansas City. Like, it, you know, obviously it's a different division, but like the Sean McVay's of the world. Teams that are coached like that, the Ravens are going to struggle against. Now, if you were going to go against a team that's like, okay, your talent versus our talent, Ravens could win that because you're not going to out-talent there's not many quarterbacks but, that are going to be able to keep up with. with, with. But they almost won this game, bro. Who did? The Ravens. The Ravens. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Kid, it wasn't. What you saw, 27 I'm just saying, he's talking <laughs> about tacticians. Like, Andy <laughs> Reid is a tactician. Like, that game was right there. It wasn't right there, bro. That's what I'm trying it, to tell you. Like, it was week one, though. Look, I get not that. Up I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're, they're not making the playoffs. I'm just saying, like, these are the games that we judge the Ravens off. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is not about Kansas City. We they coming off a of super. This is a title game for them because they you know they getting they they about to get their rings and all that stuff. They can give a fuck. They just know how to play football. I just think that when you ask about Lamar and his comfortability or how he looked, I think in the first half he looked better than he did in the second half. It just seemed like as the game went on, the the Chiefs wore on him. It was like damn, like you know, it was just like excited to start the season. We hype, we run down the field, like yeah, we score first and all that other shit. And then it's kind of like once they saw Worthy score that touchdown so easily, like the, the Chiefs went down just almost less plays than them. And they was like, oh, damn, I forgot we playing the Chiefs. <laughs> they just like no regular AFC yeah. team. And he just won. Humphrey thought he had help and he didn't. Uh, yeah. Which, but I don't know. I overall, don't know how, man, it was. I don't know how that. I don't happened. know either. I didn't see the, the top. And he's, down. A vet, he's, he's a vet. He's a vet, bro. That's not, that's not on Marlon, though. That's not on Marlon. When, when, when you have a veteran cornerback take about three to five steps and playing a zone, he obviously knows that he's supposed to have somebody over the top of him. 
that wasn't on Marlon. That's on, I don't know if that was Kyle Hamilton or uh, I can't remember the name of the other safety. I, 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 it was it was somebody, somebody. else's issue. Yeah, that somebody because they were Mar- mad. Marlon ain't gonna mess up like that, bro. No, I've seen. Don't say that. I've seen Marlon get cooked before. He was getting cooked. That, but that, that's happen, different, but... though. Yeah, it, you getting cooked versus you playing your assignment, and then yeah, it was, your it teammate was, yeah. not having your back. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, like for me, it was just like it was. I was waiting for a play like that to happen because it seemed like the Chiefs were just kind of toying with them. And just waiting for them to do something stupid for them to go over the top. Because you could tell Patty was looking to go over the top the whole game. He, he will he, he would do that little puff fake and then he'll do the safe play or he'll break out and, and scramble and do something crazy. But they was waiting for that. So once they went 27-17, I was like, there's no way the Ravens are going to score enough to even keep it, uh, to even tie, let alone take the lead. Like, can you talk about the last play with Lamar and likely in the toe? Like, that was just to... Positive. Technically, that was just to tie the game, but they were going to go for two to win. But even then, like, look how long it took them to get down to that point. Like, I, I, it took I just, two minutes. a minute fifty. Yeah, it was a minute. 50 I'm talking about. I'm, t- I'm talking about for them to get to that point of the game where they're just tying. There's just now tying it up like that. What, what What does that matter, Nick? That doesn't. The fact The fact of the matter is that they got to the point, and they were a toe away from either tying or winning the game or losing was, the game. It goes to my point as far as I was saying, like they started off hot, but then they wore down. It got, it was long stretches before they even got down okay. to the field to, to the score and all that stuff. And even the likely, the likely touchdown was as much credit as I'm giving Lamar making a play on the run. That likely touchdown was not something that was really scripted to where you could say, okay, we can go down the field and do it again. It was Lamar like, greatness. Was like, Thank you. It was it was it was likely the athleticism that one. No, 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 that was Lamar's greatness. For, because there's only a handful of quarterbacks that that'll make that throw, bro. There's only a handful throw. of tight ends that, that's gonna make that. That's gonna make two defenders miss. Don't a stop a stop and start. Come on, people. Let's not act like look, look, how many tight. We couldn't even do a tight ends list because we do quarter, There's less list. quarterbacks that'll make. And that I told you, likely was on my tight end list. By the way, there's less quarterbacks I mean, yeah. that'll make that throw than pass catchers making that catch, bro. That that's just. It is I'm not talking. It is. About, I'm not talking. I'm not. I, I'm giving Lamar credit for the throw. I'm just saying, like to, to extend it. It don't sound to, like it. To, to, it don't sound like it. That wasn't a touchdown throw. That wasn't. That was. I'm giving this the ball to to get the first down and likely just made a play. A, made a probably one of the plays of the year. We're gonna look back at that and say that's probably one of the plays of the year for the Ravens because that wasn't a touchdown throw. That was just a throw to get to the first down. Likely took it. He put the what, ball in his what, hand what, to make. What are we? What are we talking? Play. Which play are we talking about? Because I'm talking about the play that he stepped out of bounds and wasn't the. No, I'm talking about the actual game. touchdown that he had. The actual touchdown, okay. like he had, like the I think the first one he had, where he uh, okay. Lamar came out the pocket. He yeah, threw yeah, it. yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, that's yeah, the one that made it seven. That was that was the one that made it seventeen twenty. That yeah, was because he because he yeah. cut up. He 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 mm-hmm. read Lamar scrambling. He cut up the field and then he made a play. He made a play, and, yeah. And, and that's what John Harbaugh said at, at halftime. He said, look, everybody settle down. We make one or two plays, and, we, and, and, we'll, and we're in this. And that's essentially what, what it came down to. If Isaiah likely makes that play at the end, we're having a different discussion. And then here's another thing, too. If they go for two, in my opinion, you just go give it to Derrick Henry because he, he fresh. They, I wouldn't, he I wouldn't fresh. trust. I wasn't going to trust Derrick Henry on that second. For the two-yard line? The the, way, the, so what, so what the are you doing? You with, throwing the rock? With, no, no, no. With the way Lamar was running, I'm doing a little boot plays nah, until you see him get in. Because nah, he had, like you said, he had over 100, he had over 110 yards. He no, was no, the no, biggest, we, he was the best we, rusher we, of the other night. We don't need Marshawn Lynch 2.0. You got a guy that weighs 250 back there. He only had 13 carries. You get him to rock and be like, there's this is reason, why we paid you. There's a reason no, why no, he only had 13. No, no, he, got, no, he was getting no, right. He was no, getting right. No, Nick, up. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let you do this. Because last year or the year before, whenever uh, uh, Russell Wilson went to the Denver Broncos and they had the same opportunity, fourth and whatever, and they didn't give him the ball, I said it, everything I needed to know. It, it was earlier in this game. It was fourth and three or something like that. And what did they do? They fourth, gave their can read Fourth the ball. and one. They, no, oh, okay, for, for whatever. But they gave Derrick Henry the ball because that's who you bring in to do that. So in this situation, to win the game, to get over our roadblock, you go get it to the guy that you just gave big bread to, and it's supposed to be the difference. That's what you do. First of all, they gave eight million. They gave eight million dollars basically for running and, back. For and running I'm saying, back, and, I, and, I, and I'm using, I'm using Derrick Henry. Yes, on that, on that uh, fourth and two, whatever that they needed. 
in the field, but on the goal line to win the game, I'm giving I'm putting the best the ball in the best player's hands, and that's Lamar. I'm gonna let him make a decision on what he wanna do. But um no, nah, I just I just to me it was like after likely made it uh 1720, I'm like, okay, we got a game. Let's see if the Ravens can come back. But then right I feel like that was the next drive right after that. That's when you see the worthy touchdown. It was like, all right, it's a wrap. So that's what I'm saying. It's like if the Ravens can't beat the Chiefs at their weakest, and now the Chiefs are like they got some new weapons, so they're going they probably gonna be an exciting season for them. And they probably in this game again is gonna come back around when we look at the end of the season and why they may or may not get the number one seeds because of this game. I, it's, I, you don't need the number one. This, my, this is my last. I'm just saying this like this is my last time ever picking outside of any time they face Cincinnati. <laughs> this is my last time ever picking against Patty Mahomes. I'm gonna say it right now. I have no faith in Lamar Jackson no more when it goes when it comes to him being one of the ones that can potentially beat uh, Patty. Right now, it's only Burrow can. Burrow, the only nigga that you can trust to bet money on. Everybody else fails. There's no one who has a good record or even a, a, a tied record against him. And it seems crazy because you, we're talking about talented ass quarterbacks like Lamar, like Josh Allen and others that just can't get the fucking job done. No matter how many times you do it, no matter how many times you change up their offense or what personnel they have, it just doesn't matter. And I'm, I'm just done fighting against it, bro. Like as much as we talking about like how much it was closer, it wasn't. We knew who was going to win. We knew who he was going. That's FIFA. Did you pick the Did you pick the Chiefs to uh, to win or lose this game? I uh, picked the Ravens to win. You picked the Ravens to win. Oh, okay, so. but I picked the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl though. I should I should have so, I should have I should have known that was the sign, kid. If me and FIFA agree on something, I'm like, All right, I need I should have changed my pick. As soon as the game came on, I was like, damn, I probably should have picked Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something, nah. bro. <laughs> But um, but either way, it was it was a good game. I'm, um, I can't remember what what was the opening game last year. Do you guys remember? It was, it was Chiefs Lions. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, anyway, it was a good game, man. Awesome. I, that was an exciting game. Two MVPs going back and forth, and um, and it came down to the wire. It was four seconds and a toe out of bounds, and that ended that's, up the side of the game. That's a that's a different type of revisionist history. <laughs> 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 people watch that game. You making it sound like it came down to a damn nail biter the whole time. Like, it nah. was, Nick. So, so it was a nail biter. A you don't think this was a good game? It was a prayer. It was a prayer that people were hoping. It was a Nick, prayer. I, Nick, it was a takes. prayer. Your, I'm just saying. You, I'm you, saying you, at you, the you end of the game. All by yourself. I'm saying that. Because, the because I, like, like you, 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 you need to reach out to Skip Bayless, bro. That's no, what I'm, you just, need to do. I'm, I'm saying it was a prayer. That touchdown throw that he threw was a prayer. Like we were surprised, likely even was potentially inbounds. Like for for that play to even be made, it was like, how the hell did he make that play? That play doesn't, you know, there's only a few players in the league in the league who do some shit like that. And apparently he ain't one of them because his toe was. <laughs> all right, man. So, all, all I will say is this: uh, next week, that's the real test, here. We gonna see what it's like next week. Cause Cincinnati coming, Cincinnati coming to Kansas City, and we gonna Damn, see what Raven, it's like. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, 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 I'm sure we'll be picking that game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we definitely yeah. picking that game. That should be Sunday night football. I don't know what they're doing. It's gonna be the uh, late. <laughs> it's gonna be the late afternoon. I think 4:25 game. But um, that's gonna be the game that I'm looking at to see if if Burrow and them can't beat. That's what I'm saying. If, they, if we can't beat Patty Dennis, it feels like when the Warriors got KD. And all them, it was like we just got to get through the regular season, but we already know who's gonna win it all. You know what I'm saying? Like if 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 the best of the best can't beat you, then what are we doing? All right, well that's it, man. Those are our thoughts on an uh, electrifying game, despite what Nick was saying. Um, greatness on both ends by everybody. Um, Except Harbaugh wasting two timeouts, but nevertheless, it gets it is relevant. But um, I ain't gonna criticize them too bad. Coach up your players so they're not offsides either, or whatever that illegal formation shit is. Illegal formation. Yeah, but um, we're gonna leave it there, man. Come back Tuesday. We're gonna recap uh, all of the football that took place over the weekend. Sunday, uh, hit some of the big stories in college football. There's a Colorado Nebraska game. I'm sure we may end up talking about depending on how that go, and um, and of course Monday night football and Sunday night football as well. So. We'll be back oh, then, man. We'll catch you guys. Oh, yeah. Are we uh, coming back tomorrow? Who playing tomorrow? The uh, Packers uh, Eagles. 
Friday oh, Night Football in Brazil. Shit, I'm with it. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah. That's yeah, gonna be that's gonna be back tomorrow then. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts. Yeah. All right, yeah, the, the, the Love Hurts game. <laughs> <laughs> He's been writing that all day. <laughs> I, said, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, I think I saw it on ESPN. I'm like, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> all right, man. Well, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Then we out. Peace. And they did let a defensive coordinator call a timeout, which was crazy. I don't know how that happened. Uh, first game of the first week. <laughs>